Our reading is Psalm 31. I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me. Incline your ears to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me. A strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden from me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. You hate those who pay regard to worthless idols. But I trust in the Lord. I will exalt and rejoice in your steadfast love. Because you have seen my affliction and have taken heed of my adversities and have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy, you have set my feet in a broad place. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes waste away from grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent with sorrow. And my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries, a horror to my neighbours, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of the mind like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many terror all around, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face Shine upon your servant, save me in your steadfast love. O do let me be put to shame, O Lord, for I call on you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go dumbfounded to shoal. Let the lying lips be still, that they speak instantly against the righteous with pride and content. Oh, how abundant is your goodness that you have laid up for those who fear you and accomplished for those who take refuge in you in the sight of everyone. In the shelter of your presence you hide them from human plots. You hold them safe under your shelter from continuous tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously sh shown his steadfast love to me when I was beset as a city under siege. I had said in my alarm, I am driven far from your sight, but you heard my supplications when I cried out to you for help. Love the Lord, all his saints. The Lord preserved the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Now we're going to hear from Dave Thomas, who is going to give a short talk aimed at the younger members of our church family. <laughs> 